Hey guys, it's just today's just a quick video on the guy who burnt his 4090 connectors. Um, you're gonna see a lot of posts on the internet about it. A lot of people are gonna complain, a lot of people are gonna bitch, but none of that is actually solving the problem, okay? So this is the connector. This connector is here to stay, right? It's an ATX spec, um, so it's gonna be on the AMD cards, it's gonna be on the Intel card, I mean, uh, Nvidia cards. It's on the PSUs already, it's not going anywhere, okay? So how did the guy blow up his stuff? Real simple. If you look inside the pin, you'll see that these pins are very close to the plastic. So the moment if this pin gets loose and it touches the plastic when you're drawing power, boom, there you go, it melts, okay? Kind of hard to show you on this small cable. Oh, by the way, for those of you that said this is 30 insertions, let me explain something to you. Every connector has an insertion cap, okay? So even something like a SATA connector has an insertion cap of, I think, 50 times before it's supposed to fail. All right, so get off that. Let's just move on to here. This one's easier to see. Um, you'll see that there's six pins in here, okay? This is a, essentially a 24 pin GPU wire, all right, eight by three. If I were to move this wire, you, know, you can see the pins move as I move the wire. The further away I'm from the terminal end, the less likely I'm going to move that pin as I'm moving the wire. So if I twist the wire, you may even see the pin twist in position, okay? So if we go back to the photo, I'm gonna put it up on the video. The guy had his cables like this, okay? It was vertical mount GPU and it was like tilted like that, bent like that, okay? We don't know what his adapter went through before that. He may have tried to vertically mount, bent it 90 degrees, we don't know, okay? So we don't know if his adapter was compromised by the time he stuck it into his GPU, okay? We also don't know, that maybe is just he has a crappy PSU and or just dirty power, and that also could have caused the problem. But with everybody bending these against the glass and everything, common sense, right? So this is a USB-C cable for a phone. You'll notice it has a rubber sleeve to prevent you from bending it like this, to prevent you from bending it like that, okay? Phone cable, same concept. You're not supposed to bend this thing like all, however you please, okay? I know for the PC space, we do wire management. You know, we tend to bend cables fairly aggressively, okay? But as you can see, as I'm bending this cable, I am moving the pins, right? So on something like this, it's a smaller pin. That means there's a smaller hook to hook the pin into the terminal. So there's a even easier chance of it getting loose, all right? And that's one reason why it's all taped up here, okay? There's one reason why the cable mod one has that shield over it, okay? It's just kind of prevents you from touching or messing with this general area. This is very stiff here. It's not loose, it's very stiff, okay? Then that, that's to protect these pins from coming out, okay? Or coming loose. So what can you do? When you get your cable, make sure all the pins are facing the same direction. It looks like a U. If one of them is in the wrong position, like upside down, that means that pin is not inserted correctly and can come out really easily, okay? Make sure they're all uniformly distant from the edge. If you see one that's hanging off, don't use the cable. Replace the cable, okay? It's that simple. Check your cables before you use them. When you plug in your GPU, you know, try to maintain this four centimeter, three centimeter, even just go past the tape a little bit. Hold it in place when you connect your other stuff. All right, don't let this area get bent and all such like I'm doing right now, okay? Don't do that. Just common sense steps to prevent it from happening to you. And that's it. So thanks for watching and take care.